Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up. If you're feeling okay, you can show me by putting your thumb in the middle. And if you're not doing very well, you can show me with a thumbs down. But hopefully after circle time is over, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started. Put your arms out like airplane wings. Let's fly to one side. Fly to the other side, fly back to the middle, and take those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you. Stretch the circle up over your head. Let's stretch on this side. Stretch over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top, and bring the circle back down, and let's sing together. If you know this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear Earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Welcome to Circle Time, friends. I hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. We have three things to do before we get started. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Number two, put on our thinking hats. You look for your thinking hat and I'll look for mine. Mine is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head and today my thinking hat has some snaps under my chin. So I'm going to snap, snap, snap it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready to get started. Right over here, I have the calendar and weather chart. So let's start off with the date. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? July, you're right, the month is July. Today is July 14th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 13th. And today is July 14th, and the year is 2021 or 2021. There are two ways to say the year. I wonder how many days we've had so far in the month of July. Will you take out your counting fingers and give them a little stretch? Let's count how many days we've had so far in the month. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We've had fourteen days so far in the month of July. Now let's hold up seven fingers for the Days of the Week song. And if you know the words, you can sing with me. There are seven days, there are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Here at the bottom of the chart, we have all of the days. Let's go over them together. Listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with. And if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was t Tuesday. That means that today is wh Wednesday, and tomorrow will be th Thursday. Let's go back a day. Will you sing Today is Wednesday with me? Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. And if we go back up to the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season? Summer. You're right, friends. It's summertime where I live. And now we're going to travel back down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together. Are you ready to sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? My picture down at the bottom of the chart has not moved all week. It's another mostly sunny day with a few clouds in the sky. But in the afternoon, we have been getting quite a few thunderstorms. In the morning, it's sunny, and then by the late afternoon, it starts to rain. I wonder if that's going to happen again today. My temperature chart is on orange because it's warm today. Warm and mostly sunny. What about you, friends? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Do you remember what sound this letter makes? Er, er. And which letter is this? R, that's right. This is a capital or uppercase R. R says er, er. What I have today is not inside of the letter box, and you'll see why in a second. Today, I'm thinking of something that starts with the letter er, R. Here's your first clue. This is something that you do with your body. This is a type of a fast movement, and it's the opposite of walking. Hmm, what's a fast movement that you do with your body? You run! Friends, if you are sitting down or standing right now, will you show me how fast you run? On your mark, get set, go! Wow, that is very fast. Run starts with the letter R. R. This is how you write an uppercase R. R. One more time. And here is the number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? Seven. This is the number seven. Let's hold up seven fingers together. I'll start with one hand, five fingers right here and two more fingers make seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count to the number seven together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to be counting to the number seven using the large bead frame. So we will be counting the green beads, which are the units at the top. Let's count seven units together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven units. But there's more to count. Let's open up the box and see what I have today. I have these small rocks, which are called pebbles. And as I count them, I'll line them up across the top so we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pebbles. Let's move on to the sign of the week, which is calm. Will you show me how to say calm in sign language? That's right, friends, calm. Well, hi, friends. I was just comforting my friend Penguin right here. Penguin has been crying and really wanted a hug. She told me that her best friend in the whole wide world is moving away to a new house. What's that, Penguin? She also wanted me to tell you that her best friend's new house is really, really far away. Oh, poor penguin. Here you go. You can use this tissue and I can help you wipe your eyes and your nose if you'd like. Would you like another hug? 
OK. Friends, how do you think Penguin is feeling right now? That's what I was thinking, too. Penguin is very sad and upset right now. Have you ever been sad or upset before? When your body is feeling that emotion, you may cry and your nose may start to get runny, or maybe your breathing is fast and heavy if you're feeling really upset. When I'm feeling sad, after I get a hug from someone, I like to move my body. Because when you exercise, you are making endorphins and dopamine inside of your brain, which are chemicals that make you feel happy. So let's get up and get our bodies moving. Let's go. For today's work, I'm going to show you some yoga movements because when you move your body, your brain releases chemicals that make you feel happy. So for this work, you're going to need a yoga mat or you can also just use a beach or a bath towel. So let me first begin by showing you how to roll out, out your yoga mat. You're going to take your yoga mat and you're going to kneel down or you can do this standing up and you're going to take one end of it and just roll it out like this so that it's flat and you're ready to start your practice. For my first movement of my yoga practice, I like to begin in something called child's pose, which is when you're sitting on your knees and you're towards the end of your yoga mat and you're going to take both of your arms out in front of you and just stretch them out to the top of your yoga mat and you're going to bring your forehead down to the bottom of your mat. And you're going to practice some breathing here. So you're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Keep your forehead on your yoga mat. You're going to reach your arms up and just practice your breathing in and out. So from child's pose, I come back up to tabletop, which is when your knees are down on the yoga mat and so are both of the palms of your hand. And from tabletop, you're going to move to cat-cow. So as a cat, you're going to arch your back up like this. And then as a cow, you're going to round your back and look straight out. Cat. Cow, cat, cow. So after cat cow, you're going to come back to tabletop. And from here, we are going to go to downward facing dog, which is when you're going to lift your knees up into the air and push your heels back to the ground while bringing your arms straight. You can even pedal your feet back and forth like this to give them a little stretch. You bend your knees and pedal, or you can just keep your knees straight like this while bringing your bottom into the air and your arms are straight with your palms pressing strongly into the ground. So from downward facing dog, we are going to go back to tabletop to get ready for our next position. So bring your knees back down to your yoga mat. Your palms are on your yoga mat as well. And now we are going to do tiger. So you're going to reach one arm out straight like this, and you're going to reach your opposite leg out straight as well. This is a great balancing pose. So you can practice on this side and then you can bring your arm and your leg back and practice on the other side. Let's do that one more time. Opposite arm and leg, go out and you balance and then you do that to the other side and bring it back down. 
So we're back in tabletop pose, and from here we're going to go into a plank, which is when we keep both of our hands on the ground, but you lift your knees off the ground, and you balance on the tips of your toes like this. So you're holding yourself up. Try to bring your belly button upward, and you hold that plank. And next, we're going to lower down into Cobra. So you're going to slowly bring your body to the ground. And then you're going to keep your hands, your palms on the yoga mat. But you're going to bring your chest upward like this, like a Cobra, which is a type of a snake. Lower down. Take a deep breath up. And exhale. Deep breath in and out. So let's move from Cobra to our next pose. We're going to go from Cobra back to a downward facing dog. So up to Cobra and exhale into downward facing dog. From here, we're going to go back down into table pose. Make sure that you're keeping your breathing in and out. You're going to sit back on your bottom and bring your legs out in front of you like this. Try to sit up straight, reach up. And give one more stretch up and reach out. And now let's go into our final pose, which is called resting pose. You can scooch up to the middle of your mat and lay your body down, your hands out to the side, your feet flop out, and just practice breathing in and out. Welcome back to Circle Time, friends. How do you like to move your body? Maybe you like to dance. Maybe you like to climb. My favorite exercise is to run. I always find that I feel better after I go for a run. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.